Second notation, TPX, can be interpreted as the probability that a person HX will attain HX plus T, meaning that he or she survive until X plus T. So, given a life at HX, so still survive until X plus T. So, the probability from X to X plus T. So, in the statistic just now, we use SDF. So, the TPX is 1 minus TQX. Remember this uh, formula, FX plus SX equal to 1. So, it's same as TQX plus TPX equal to 1. So, from TQX, we can find TPX. And if we convert in terms of SDF, we get SX plus T over SX. In the special case of a life age 0, this is a newborn, we have T0 equal to X. How we get this? So if we convert in terms of survival function, X P O. So the probability from 0 to X is S X. So X is equal to 0 plus T is X over S X. Zero. So this one zero is uh, uh, zero zero, and t is x, and we get s x. This one is equal to one. Remember, this case. Meaning that T is equal to 1. So for T equal to 1, we don't have write down the 1 in front. So we just leave blank. So, so knowing that the T is equal to 1. So QX is the probability that X will die within 1 year. If we draw the timeline. So from X to X plus 1 only for 1 year as well as the TPX so from X to X plus 1 so only the 1 year so this one about we are looking for the probability of death so QX this one we are looking for probability of survive, so we use PX. Okay, next slide. For more general event that an individual each act survive T years and dies within the next S years, that is X will die between H X plus T and X plus T plus S. We denote it as this notation so here is x plus t here is x plus t plus s so we are looking for this probability probability of death 
So meaning that we have to assume that an individual must survive until x plus t. So survive here. So that's why we write down as qx to x plus t because this is t years. T years. This is x plus t plus s minus x plus t. It becomes s years. To, so x to x plus t, an individual still survive. And we are looking for the probability of death between x plus t to x plus t plus s. So this is how we write the notation. x to x plus t survive. So we are looking for the probability of death from x plus t to x plus t plus s. Okay, if we write down in terms of probability, it becomes like this. And we also can use this one. If we convert it in terms of probability of survive, we use this one. If you still remember, this is equation for the F, the big F. That case, uh, z minus x, and this is sx. We use survival function. The suffix s must be suppressed if it is equal to 1. So this one, the qx to t to s is the probability of an individual hx surviving to t years and dying within the next year. This is for s is equal to 1. So dying at the next year. So for s greater than 1, meaning that the probability of an individual hx surviving t years and dying within the s years. Okay. So next slide. Hence, we also can write down like this for one year for s is equal to one year and then we also can use this one so the condition is x x plus t x plus t plus s so survive so this is t p x meaning that the probability of this the an individual survive from x to x plus t this is t years so from q x plus t because the current age for this uh, for this interval is x plus t and the t is equal to s yes so here is s so we get this equation over a period of t plus s, the following chain rule holds. For this case, for example, x, x plus t, x plus t plus s. So, this is so t, p, x, p, x plus t. This one is the current h. For this one and this one is for the current age for this interval and px is actually the multiplication of px times px plus 1 times px plus 2 
until px plus n minus 1. So x, x plus 1, x plus 2, until x plus n. So n px is actually multiplication of px. For the conditional property of that, we have NQX. This one, current H is X and the property until X plus 1. So, property of that. So, for this one, from x and survive until x plus 1 and we are looking for the death from x plus 1 to x plus 2 until okay so this one from n minus 1 to n using the STF of the future lifetime random variable t we have so now we already have three actual notation so if you want to write down in terms of STF Actually, TPF is ST, TQX is 1 minus ST. And for this case, for the conditional probability that uh, an individual survive until X plus T and die between X plus T plus S is actually ST minus ST plus S. Now we try example 4. So we can use Sx plus T over Sx. So we plug in the values. It becomes Sx. X is 19 plus 17 over Sx 19. So it becomes SX 36 over SX 19. So we plug in the in the uh, equation, it becomes So we can cancel out the 10 and we get 8 over 9. Eight over 9. Or we can also change into decimal point, it becomes Zero point eight 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 nine probability of death from age thirty six to fifteen fifteen years. So age thirty six probability of death for fifteen years t equal to fifteen. Thirty six plus fifteen is 51 year old. Uh, we are given in terms of survival function, so we can use 1 minus Sx plus T over Sx. So 1 minus 
S X fifty one over S X thirty six one over E. Or you also can write in terms of decimal point, and you will get zero point one two. H is 36 so still survive here 40 equal to 15 meaning that until H 51 and we are looking for this probability of death from 51 so uh, T here or S we use S in the formula S equal to 13 so until age 64 so this is how you draw the timeline from the notation and then now you can solve it so we can use this one is tpx remember so p 36 t is 15 one is property of death so we use q from the current age here now is 51 for s years 13 so the current age is 51 and the s is referring to the this interval this is s 51 over s 36 times 1 minus s 64 over s 51 so you plug in the value into the function and then you will get 1 over 8 or 0 0.12.